Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre talking to you today about the O'Neill Hammer 3-2 Summer Wetsuit for Summer 2013. Uh, the Hammer has traditionally been known as kind of an entry level suit, it's one up from the lower suit they do which is a reactor. Uh, and what a lot of people do ask is what you get for the extra money. And that basically the secret lies in the quality of the neoprene that you get within the suit. Uh, so the hammer is such, as I say, kind of an entry level suit. And what we mean by entry level, it's kind of lower down on the price point on the series of uh, wetsuits that O'Neill do. Uh, the reason for that is because the quality of neoprene in the lower body of the suit is like the standard fluid flex, which is a... Um, Sort of a decent high grade neoprene, which is very stretchy, but uh, you can get more stretchy and more flexible, um, such as the ultra stretch, super stretch neoprene, or the techno butter, which you get in the upper end of suits. Uh, basically, the more money that you pay with a wetsuit, the more of that quality super stretch neoprene you get throughout the wetsuit. With the reactor, which is the lowest one in the series, you get the standard fluid flex, fluid flex the whole way through, and that's why it's only like £65 or £69.99 to actually get the suit. Whereas the hammer, uh, you get some of that super stretch, but you get it just in the upper body. So around the shoulders and under the arms, where your paddle zones are, your flex zones, so where you need a lot of movement in your upper body, you get that super stretch neoprene through the upper body. So that's the principal difference between the two wetsuits and what you get for paying a bit extra for the hammer. Um, as with the reactor though, the actual seams on the wetsuit are what we call flat lock stitched. Uh, quite important, flat lock stitching basically is a breathable seam and what that means is two pieces of neoprene are butted up together uh, and then they're sewn with a flat lock stitching which makes it very robust but it does mean the stitching goes the whole way through so the punch holes through the suit go the whole way through that's why they say it's breathable basically it's another word for meaning that water will come in through the seams um, which eventually means that water will get into the suit and uh, you'll get a bit colder and a bit quicker in a suit uh, that has flat lock stitching over and above a suit which has a glued and blind stitch seams which is GBS uh, having said that, if you're using it for the cool summer months, uh, for the warmer months of the year, then that won't be a problem at all, and uh, the neoprene will still do its job and keep you warm. So flat lock seam, seams, the benefit of the flat lock seam is they do feel good against your skin, and also they're very, very robust, so there are less chances of them to fail because the stitching's straightforward uh, and just sort of goes the whole way through the seam. Uh, the seams itself, uh, sorry, the seams. The, uh, yeah, the seams themselves are actually sort of well placed around the suit, so they're um, pre-bent to match the shape of the human body to make sure they don't restrict movement throughout the suit, and they are basically uh, only put in places where there's less movement, so the seams aren't going to sort of inhibit your movement through the suit. Uh, you get a smooth skin panel on the front chest panel, and you get it around the kidneys and around the back as well, and it's especially treated neoprene, which basically stops wind penetrating the suit and getting into your core and making you cold. Uh, further down the suit, you get the Duraflex knee pad, which are a particularly useful material which stops the suit wearing through on the knee. Uh, basically means that uh, the suit will last longer, and the knee seem, tends to be the typical place where a suit will wear through, uh, because of um, you know when you're learning to windsurf, kite surf, or surf, anything you do, you do the knee does take some abuse. Um, so, the Duraflex uh, will stop that rubbing through on the knee, which is very useful. Uh, the neck of the suit is what we call a roll skin collar, a roll neck collar. It's two pieces of neoprene but, um, butted up together. Um, what the idea is, the inside piece has a smooth uh, lining to it, which will stop you getting rash. It also sticks to your neck, and means that when, if there's any movement in the suit up and down your neck, that will lock against your neck, and the outside piece will move up and down. It stops any sort of rubbing and chafe on your neck, basically, which a lot of people do experience with their wetsuit. So, the double seal roll skin neck will stop that, and uh, it's also good at keeping out water. Um, in terms of keeping out water, then you've got a specially treated zip down the back of the wetsuit. Nice big back zip, nice and easy to get in and out of. You've got a lanyard there as well, so you can pull that up yourself. You shouldn't have to ask anyone else in the car park. And there's a small flap of neoprene which goes underneath the zip uh, and stops any water that does come through the zip coming straight into the suit. Uh, the suit, especially a zip, is specially coated to stop any water penetrating. And uh, the zip itself is a uh, YKK zip, which are sort of renowned non-corrosive zip, which won't fail when it's got a bit of salt water in it. Uh, the neck itself is adjustable with a Velcro on the inside, and basically it's broken into two pieces to make sure it's still got movement, and uh, that's just adjustable. You can tighten it up however comfortable uh, you feel, uh, just got water getting into the suit. Uh, so that's pretty much everything there is to really talk about on the O'Neill Hammer. Uh, it's a very good wetsuit, one that we sell a lot of every year in the summer because it's very flexible, very comfortable, robust, durable and uh, well priced. Uh, perfect for someone who's sort of like a casual beach user who just wants a decent suit to sort of go surfing, go um, get, just get in the water in the summer months. So the O'Neill Hammer, always a wetsuit centre recommendation.